Hi, thank you for joining my call. This is Leslie Hill with Hill Image. I'm a personal image consultant or personal branding coach. Now what I'm going to talk to you today is about the spring forward time frame. So if you're like the rest of the United States, we have now changed our clocks to adjust the time and allow to have more light in our day. What we don't want to do though is show our age and spring forward. So that's what we're going to concentrate on tonight. I'm going to start by talking about color because color is what makes us look more youthful and approachable and confident. Now I provide an, a personal color analysis. And what this means is I sit with you for an hour and a half while you can drink coffee, check your emails, just have great conversation. And I choose colors that look fantastic on you. This is actually my own personal color wheel. And so what you can tell by looking at this and how I use this is I make sure that what's in my closet matches the intensity, the overall color range that comes up on my color wheel. So if I'm looking through this closet, the majority of my closet, granted you can only see a small part, but the majority of my closet is if we were to print off um, a black and white or grayscale picture of me, I would land somewhere in the middle to the beginning. So my hair isn't super light, my skin isn't super dark, I have very little contrast. That's okay. Um, this is how God made me and I'm going to work with it. So Tara Soto from here in Fort Wayne, Indiana has l done a fantastic job on my hair and she's given me highlights and lowlights. So that gives me some depth. Um, you don't have to go too bold. I usually tell all of my clients to go no more than two shades up or shoot two shades down when you're highlighting and low lighting. And that gives you a very natural looking color. So that's where we start with hair. Then we work our way down to our eyebrows. Now eyebrows are very important. These are the frames to your photo. We can look like we have absolutely no color on our face, even if we have full eyeshadow, full bright lipstick, because what you're seeing is just skin here. So let me show you what I use. And I am all over the board on how much money I spend for my makeup, and it's all just whatever works for me. So here is a product called e.l.f., and it is probably one of the cheapest brands out there. It's probably doesn't have the best chemicals and those kind of things in it, but I figure it's just a very small line that I'm going to use it for and it gets the job done and I really like it. So I go ahead and fill in my brows just enough that I'm giving myself some more contrast on my face. Then I do my eyeliner and the eyeliner, no matter how old you are, after you are probably 25 you're going to want to start going with a brown eyeliner to a more neutral color. So if you don't wear a lot of eyeshadow, that's fine. You can get away with using a color eyeliner to make you look like you're wearing eyeshadow. It's a great little trick and it works for everyone. So you might want to use navy or maybe it's a maroon or a purple. And that gives you just a little bit of jazz without full shadow on your eyes. And your eyelids for the most part should look like a natural color. And then you work in the creases to do your um, enhanced color. Again, I wouldn't do anything darker than a brown um, if you are older than 25. It's just what happens to us. I'm 38. I understand. I love makeup. It's just what works. Okay, so we have now gone from our eyes. Now we're at our cheeks. Cheeks and powder are the main ingredient to getting your face right. If you wear a foundation that doesn't blend, then you are covering up the beauty that people could be seeing and you're making it more obvious that you have makeup on. You really wanna look as though you have none. So I use anything um, that I really feel comfortable with that matches. First of all, I start with bare minerals or bare essentials and I use this primer. So it's really important to use a primer. 
what this does is going to work with your pores, kind of make everything more even before you even apply your makeup. So you want to do that. Mm, if you can wait 10 minutes before you put your makeup on, that's fantastic. That's the best thing you want to do for yourself. So use your primer. Then you can use a BB cream. So again, this is all just coming out of my makeup bag. It's not pretty. It's just what it is. So I love to use Neutrogena. I love Bare Essentials. I love Origins, all that kind of stuff. However, I did just run out of this girl. So I had to run in real quick and find this at Walgreens. And the color is perfect. Um, I don't really like the ingredients that are in it. So that's my only hang up. But it is really good. It's nice and light and yet it covers really well. I don't feel like I'm wearing anything. So you could try that. From there, it depends on how many wrinkles you are you have. Now I don't want to say how what your age is because that really doesn't matter. I have seen so many women at different stages in their life, different ages, and one person that you would assume would have no wrinkles has a ton and then somebody that you would assume would has absolutely none so you can't go by that what you have to do is look at your own face and see how you can enhance your own natural beauty thinking of that that's where you decide whether or not you're going to use your powder and your powder also has to completely match your skin tone and your foundation or your bb cream or cc cream whatever it may be so here i have a pressed powder because to me, I like pressed powder better than the loose, only because I feel like the little hairs on my face stand up a little bit more and that it sets a little bit harder into my wrinkles. I will never forget when I was in the bathroom one day and a woman talked to me about my 11s. I didn't even know I was old enough to have wrinkles that had names. Now I know. <laughs> so. Now I have my 11s and I have to stare at them all the time. They are what they are. I have tried Botox and it was amazing. So if you are local in Fort Wayne area, you should definitely try skincare solutions or solution skincare and laser treatment. They're phenomenal. However, to be honest, I just decided that I didn't have the money at the moment to keep that up. Uh, but it's really not that expensive for the amount of beauty it gives you. It's just not my cup of tea at the moment. So um, now we've talked about your foundation. I love, this is the best uh, blush that I've found so far for me. So this is the NARS. I believe it's something, it's like one of the Kardashians or somebody uses it all the time. And when I went into Sephora, they said, you have to try it. It's called Orgasm. How can you not try that? <laughs> Everybody wants one of those. So um, I tried it and it is the best shade. It kind of works on everyone. So again, luckily it's on top of my mineral powder and uh, Neutrogena and as well as my primer. So I don't feel as bad putting it on a large area on my face because I don't really know what's in it, but it's a good one. So if you want to try that, that's that works on almost everyone. Now I can look to see what lip shade and what blushes are going to look good on me just by using my color fan because I know that everything in here is going to look good on me. So if I open up this little tube, I can tell that this is pretty similar to some of the colors that are in here already. So that is when I knew, yeah, it might be a little pricey, but I'm definitely going to splurge on this because I can tell in my color wheel that it's going to look really good. So there's that. Now the lip gloss that I'm using at the moment that I actually have on is something cheap. Again, I ran into Walgreens and so I grabbed this. And this one is actually called, I don't know, six or six hour. I don't know what it, what the name is. Um, oh, all night long. Man, we have orgasms all night long. <laughs> We're on a roll right now. <laughs> so here is the lip gloss I'm using. And again, I can put this up to my fan 
and see that it's not too bright. It's not going to be too dark. So this was a good one to get. Even though I couldn't try this on, I could hold it up to my color fan and know that this was gonna be good. Now, the best um, part of looking your best at whatever age you're in is using color in your clothing. Now, if I had a black shirt on, black is obviously something that we all wear. But look at the difference between what I look like right now in this turquoise top and to what I look like in black. It's not as happy. It's not as inviting. It's not as welcoming. It's not as confident. This makes me look much more approachable and much more youthful. So please try to incorporate color at any stage of your wardrobe. I am happy to help you complete your color wheel. Just learn how to use color within your current wardrobe. Um, I can work with you on a wardrobe evaluation. I can do. I can make outfits for you out of the clothes that you already have, so you don't have to spend any money on buying more. And I can also help you understand what's going to look good on your body shape for your character for your daily life. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Leslie Hill. I'm the owner and president of Hill Image, and I would love to work with you. Call me at 260-205-2505 and look me up at www.hillimage.com. Thanks so much.